I'm in Stockholm in Sweden and today I'm heading to a place called Sveg. I've never heard of Sveg before until a couple of days ago and I've got no idea what's there. It's a little town quite some way from here and to be honest I don't think that Sveg is really on the list of tourist destinations for people coming to Sweden but they're operating a flight there twice a day to this little town called Sveg and I've got no idea why so we're going to head over and find out just what the attraction is about Sveg and why there's two flights a day from Stockholm. Thanks to Dashlane for sponsoring this week's video. Flights from Stockholm to the bustling metropolis of Sveg are operated by an airline called John Air, who fly the route twice daily with a Beach King Air 200, a small turboprop aircraft usually operated as a corporate aircraft by air taxi operators. With Stockholm being so quiet, the Swedish Air Force appear to be using the tower as target practice today. So I'm waiting for check-in to open. Um, less than an hour before the flight and I'm the only person here. Literally every other flight out of Stockholm or Lander has gone today. This is the last flight of the day and I'm the only one here. Eventually I was joined at the check-in desk by another passenger heading to Sveg who seemed equally confused. Hopefully. At least oh. I'm not the only one. I was getting worried no, that I was yes, the only yes, person. <laughs> Ursäkta, ja. jobbar du här? Eller ja, jag ser ju ja, att du jobbar här. Vi, vi, det står att vi... Supposedly, I think there's gonna be somebody... Okay. We have seen somebody in that uh, yes. checking this before. Yes. Uh -huh. oh. uh, and now I know where we should go. Eventually someone turned up and told us that we were in the wrong place and we didn't need to go and meet the staff in the shopping area of the airport. Ah. Vi har alla passagerare här nu. All right. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. In quite possibly the strangest boarding arrangement that I've ever had, we were taken outside as I began to wonder if my ride to Sveg had been substituted for a Volkswagen minibus. As if this wasn't all strange enough, we then appeared to leave the airport entirely, joining a motorway at one point. Eventually though, we pulled into the private terminal at our lander where it seemed we'd be getting the red carpet treatment today. As we pulled onto the ramp, I got my first view of my ride to Sveg. It's a King Air 200 that rolled off the production line in 1983. It's flown for operators in the US, Germany, South Africa and Norway in its time, before John Air bought her in 2019. John Air operating here in a you. commuter configuration with 12 seats and the aircraft's got a large cargo pod attached to the belly too that they use for carrying skis. Welcome on board. There are two routes, one is Yes, and in, in English. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Actually, I'm a viewer on the channel. So oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Well, nice really to meet you. nice yes. videos. Uh, yes. yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, um, basically, we have two exits one where you came in, yes, and one in the right forward part of the cabin. Perfect. And a uh, life west under ah, the seat. Hello. Awesome, thank yeah. you very much. So, so, nice to meet you. So. Yeah, you too. Tomorrow, Sorry so. for the leg room. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> I, I know you want the leg room. <laughs> thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you. Introductions complete, it was time to fire up the engines and cut on our way to the active runway here at Orlando. The real star at Atlanta today was this 50-year-old DC-8 built in 1969 and operated originally by United Airlines, but later converted to a private jet and owned by a Saudi sheikh. It's sadly been stored at Orlando for eight years. We land upon the runway and after a false start due to a burn on the runway, We 
had a second go and took off towards the bright lights of Sveg Vegas. Sveg this evening then took us on a direct path heading northwest from Stockholm. Flight time today was 52 minutes at a cruising altitude of 20,000 feet. So climbing out of Stockholm on the King Air, this is such a cool plane to fly on. Leg room's pretty decent. As expected for what is essentially a private jet type class aircraft. Um, certainly an interesting way to get on the plane down in um, Stockholm at Orlando. But this is pretty cool. Climbing up to 20,000 feet or so now for the one hour and a half flight up to Fake. That's pretty good. I'm enjoying this plane, it's nice. Before long, we commenced our descent down into Sveg and joined on a left base leg for runway 27. Bright lights of Sveg. <laughs> Will you fly more in the northern? <laughs> so, yeah, tomorrow I okay, go back to Stockholm and then up to Lulay X. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yes, nice to fly with you. Hang on, I'll give you the sticker. Hang on. Yeah, you you fly tomorrow or? Uh, are you flying Back, from here? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. yes. Okay, well, I'll then see you tomorrow, yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> have a and night. we have the corona procedure now, so it's okay. out. Uh, Through the outside. So. Exactly. Wonderful. Thank you. See yeah. you tomorrow. Thank really? you. Bye-bye. As there were no taxis at Sveg Airport, I was very kindly offered a lift into town by Ingrid, the lady that I'd met back at so, Stockholm. Noel, you have to, to tell why, why I'm in the bright lights of Sveg, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this, we really have to, you know, have a... So is Sveg a tourist town or no, is it... No, um, no. What, what is here? Is it to, to, to warrant a flight no, from well, Orlando? Uh, but it's it's quite close to the ski uh, slopes I area, see. so we yes. have our, okay. our holiday house uh, quite close to the ski slopes. I see. Yes. So that's why. Thank you so much for this. Can I give you anything for no. bringing me? Are you sure? That's you, you really have. You so have kind of you. So we can have the. <laughs> you can watch uh, the videos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and also. And, and also give uh, Sveg a good review. Give Sveg a good review. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of course. Thank you so much. Well, lovely yes. to meet you, Ingrid. Thank okay, you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. So then, here in the delightful town of Sveg, on 
this rather basic looking building appears to be my home for the night, so let's go and see. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Um, no bathroom, it's a shared bathroom. Uh, to be honest, this was the only place, well, this is the only place you can stay in Sveg. So, I didn't really have much choice in the matter. I think I'm the only one here. Nice view out over the bright lights of Sveg. Yeah. I'm off to find a bear. Aren't they nice, by the way, um, Ingrid and her husband? Very nice of them to give me a lift to my hotel, seeing as, especially as there's no taxi service or anything around here. So. <laughs> and it's quite funny that, like, literally there is nothing here. Even people who live here are like, why would you want to visit Sveg? Um, and it's a bit quiet. Aha, I found it. The world's largest wooden bear, of which Sveg is famous for. Looks more like a pig to me. And there's a biker meet going on outside. There you have it, the world's largest wooden bear. It's still a little bit baffling as to why Sveg sees two flights a day from Stockholm. <laughs> Who's coming here? <laughs> There's not really much here. So as if to prove what a tiny town Sveg is, I've just um, bumped into the first officer from the flight today <laughs> on his evening run around the bright lights of Sveg. Um, and apparently I'm the only one on the flight tomorrow. So yay, that should be fun. So we have somebody special on the FaceTime. We have a Sam. Hello. How are you doing, Sam? I'm good, thank you. Just exploring the bright lights of this city and showing everybody what an amazing, brilliant place this is that I'm in at the minute. Yeah. I'd like to say a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Dashlane. Dashlane makes it super easy to securely store all of your passwords, cards and important documents and access them on the go. It allows you to quickly generate a unique, highly secure password for each website you visit and auto fills them on your devices so you never have to remember a password again. It's far more secure than reusing that same password with different numbers at the end over and over again. It also makes it really easy to fill in your card details whenever you make an online purchase, which is really handy for me as I can just click and fill in my card details without having to go rooting through my wallet. Aside from cards, it stores things like your passport, so wherever I am in the world, I can just open the app and pull down my passport details, great for when I'm trying to check in online or apply for e-visas when they want to know every last tiny detail of your life. Before I was lucky enough to do this as a full-time job, I worked in IT security for years. Password managers like Dashlane are regarded by experts to be the safest, most secure way to generate and protect your online credentials. Even if Dashlane were to get hacked, it would be like breaking into a bank but not being able to open any of the vaults. Only you have the key to your vault, your master password, which Dashlane don't have, and you have to enter it on your laptop or phone to get access to your passwords. So try the exclusive offer of getting Dashlane for free on your first device at dashlane.com slash and then when you want to upgrade to premium, which you will, Use my code NOL to get 25% off. Okay, time to say goodbye to the bright lights of Sveg and head back to the airport and head back to Stockholm. Hey. Uh, can I put this, uh, is it all right in here? Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. As much as it's a beautiful, secluded part of the world, I still had pretty much no clue as to why it's served twice daily by plane from Stockholm. <laughs> All is quiet, that's fake. Intercontinental.
Continental multi-port. There's not much here. I've got a friend though. And I'm waiting my flight, which is in about another hour and a half. But I wanted to make sure I got here because not knowing what taxis are like in this part of the world, I wanted to give myself enough time to walk. So I'm here to go and have a wander in a minute and let's explore Sveg International Airport. Lots of logs on these wagons. I think logging is a it's understandably a massive thing here in um, this part of Sweden because it's just surrounded by forests. Okay, we're in. So inside the huge departure lounge here at Sveg International Hyperport. You have a check-in desk and a security point and that's it. But there is free tea and coffee. And I need coffee, so I'm gonna get one. Noel, the first name Noel. Yeah. yeah just Stockholm, although it, I think yeah. it's the Orany flight today. So. Yeah, and you are the only passenger. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, private. <laughs> private jet. Private yeah. jet, yeah. <laughs> Do you need so, my passport? Or? No. Ah. So, and uh, you have your luggage, can you bring with you? To the yes, to the plane. Yes, of course. Yeah, no problem. And uh, then you can wait in here. Yeah, okay, thank you. I saw the pilot in town last night and he said, oh, you're the only passenger. So <laughs> I was on the flight yesterday as well, so yes. <laughs> you don't get many passengers coming to Sveg, I guess. <laughs> um, I, I've come to find out why there are sometimes two flights a day to Sveg. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was like, it, it's a lovely town, but very quiet and, yes, um, quiet and uh, crazy not, that not there's... So much people <laughs> no no and i guess now more so so yeah, it's yeah. at the moment yes no, but, yeah. yes definitely so i'll sit through here then yeah, yeah thank you the departure lounge at sveg is pretty basic but it's nice and comfortable i couldn't help but feel that we're feeling a little bit optimistic with the number of seats though there's great views over the apron at least of what activity there is here and i watched as my ride back to stockholm was towed out of the hangar It was soon time to board my private jet, well, turboprop, let's get that one right this time, back to Stockholm. Hello again. <laughs> Thank you. Did you enjoy your run? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for the flight. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Let's just sit down for a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. We have a nice tailwind now, so oh, nice. Guess, like okay. 45 minutes. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. very quick then. Yeah. Yes, thank and you very much. We reserve the seat for you in the... Ah. <laughs> in the, near the front. front. Yeah. Thank you very much. Before we leave, I'm just gonna review some of the uh -huh. safety stuff. We have one and the light was under the seats. If more oxygen is needed, moths will drop from the ceiling. Okay. And you just pull it down tight. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. And it's is uh, if you want safety to on board. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. As I got settled in, I spotted the nice touch by the first officer, Andreas, to reserve my seat right behind the flight deck.
Stockholm then was pretty much the reverse of the day before really, straight down to Stockholm with a flight time of 46 minutes, cruising at 21,000 feet. My return flight from Stockholm to Sveg cost me just £102 return or around $126 US dollars. This works out to a price of 25 pence per mile. For the chance to ride on an aircraft usually used as a corporate plane, this represents a fantastic value for money. I'm hoping to travel back to the north of Sweden soon to take a ride on their other King Air across the Arctic to the town of Pajala. As we pulled onto stand, Captain Anton gave me a little more information about the route to Sveg. That's the government is paying for basically. Okay, so. so it's like an essential air service, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Otherwise, it wouldn't work at all. And is it, is it usually people who um, are visiting Sveg, or is it people visit from Sveg coming to Stockholm, or it's it's actually kind of both. Yeah, it's, uh, a lot of uh, people that travel from Sveg uh, for for meetings and stuff in Stockholm as well. But then yes, uh, yeah. you have, uh, you know, all of the ski tourists. Yes, in the winter, I guess. So that's, yeah, uh, that's okay. the, the main point oh, of, the, okay. of the pod under the aircraft. That's interesting, yes. For, for skis. Yes, we were saying last night, weren't we, at this time? And this is our 1900 oh, okay. sea. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We wow. have one in Umeå. Yes, yes, so that's on the Umeå route. Yeah, yes. Umeå yeah, to yeah, Östersund. Okay. Very nice. So I Very fly nice. that uh, in usual days. Now yes, I, yeah. <laughs> now you're on the king out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it keeps you flying though, yeah? It's, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah we're, we're so lucky in that way. I mean, yes. Yeah. Pilots, thousands of pilots have been like, yes. made off in Sweden. We're just... We're you. Thank you. Really cool to have you on board. And it's cool to fly with you guys, it really is. It's um, my first time on a King Air and um, it's nice to... <laughs> Amazing. All right, well, yeah. thank you so much. Right, thank, you. Right. Thank, thank you. I would shake your hand, but no. so we can't. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> thank thank you so much. Good. Yes. Nice to see you. Thanks for having us. Here. I think he sent the red carpet treatment as yeah. well. So <laughs> absolutely, it'll be good. So my bag's gone on the 
Yeah, on, on oh, he's on the bus side. already. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm keeping him waiting now. <laughs> well, nice to meet you guys anyway. Right, thank you. Good. Have a good flight back and um, stay safe with everything that's going on. So, thank you. All right, thank you guys. Bye bye. Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you? I'm good, thank you. I'd had a great ride over to Speg and back and met some truly wonderful people. Thanks so much to Captain Anton and First Officer Andreas for the wonderful flight, to Ingrid and her husband Eric for the ride to my hotel in Sveg, and of course everyone else that I met during my trip over to Sveg. So back here in Stockholm, Arlanda Airport, and a really, really good flight with John Air back from Sveg. Um, absolutely incredible flight, guys. Thank you so much to the crew. They were absolutely amazing on that flight. Letting me sit right up at the front and explaining everything about the flight. It was just so cool. So thank you again. In regards to whether I found out any more about why people will go to Sveg, um, no. <laughs> I still don't really understand that. Um, speaking to the crew, they said actually the flight is always packed full and so much so that they're looking at upgrading it to a Beach 1900C, um, which is quite staggering really. Um, it's actually an essential air service and it's paid for by the Swedish government, hence the reason why there are two flights a day, but the fact that the flight is always full, nobody seems to really understand. Um, so it's a little, little bit none the wiser on that, but never mind. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think to Sveg and to John Air and the flight over to Sveg on the King Air as well um, down in the comments below. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.